We were standing there. The tent collapsed nearby. It just broke through. It was cut with fragments of the Russian shell. The personnel in the tent was taking care of people. 30 people killed and 88 wounded as a result of the shelling that happened in front of Vitaly. He came to the entry exit checkpoint to find out how the queue was moving. He was supposed to leave the next day. The column of cars was long. Many people got out of the car and were standing nearby. The man recalls there were several very strong explosions. When there was a third Russian attack, I was already near the girl. I heard it, but I didn't pay any attention to the shell. The girl was wounded after the second missile attack. I ran up to her. The third arrival of the missile was near 200 and 300 meters from here. He says the blast wave demolished everything on its way. Vitaly was helping to provide first aid to the wounded. There were a lot of killed and wounded people because of the Russian missile attack. A guy was thrown out of the bus by an explosive wave and then was lying with his legs broken. Doctors were helping him. I ran to the policeman, who had already gone to the inspection site, where cars were being searched. He was lying and asking for help. He had an injuno wound. Blood was flowing from it. Military ran up to the guy with broken legs, injected him with anesthesia, I think. And then an ambulance drove up to him. He was loaded onto a stretcher, but literally 10 minutes after I learned from the military that he had died too. People were standing in a queue to leave the temporary occupied territory. The car market has been converted into an entry-exit checkpoint. They made an electronic queue to make it easier to pass it. Majority were going out to visit relatives or transport them to Ukrainian-controlled Zaporizhia. The missile attack of the Russian occupiers on the column with civilians began after 7 o'clock in the morning. There are three epicenters of the explosion on the territory of the market. One of them is behind me, another is on the left, about 100 meters from here, and another is on the right and also in about 200 meters. Some of the people were in their vehicles. Most of the killed we find in their vehicles or next to them in an open area. Based on the inspection, we can conclude that the missiles were fired from a southeasterly direction. According to the previous information, the military of Russia have fired 16 missiles from the S-300 anti-aircraft missile system on civilians. Reported by Pavel Steinmach, Nadia Sukhorukova, UATV News.